blown today by Minnesota's John Moore. The smoke is on. Watch this takeoff. The 220 horsepower stock steerman, the best stock steerman pilot in the world, and you're seeing him right here. The winner of both the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award. Up comes the stock steerman and rolls it over on his back. I think I was going to quit that roll after the slow roll. There he goes. He's working the wind. John Moore, a gentleman with over 30,000 dollars at one time. And it was a good year. everything that he could get his hands on from the time he first drove on an airplane at age 14. At age 17, John Moore actually designed and built and flew his own home. And watch him as he takes this stock steerman through the sky here at Naval Air Station, Oceana, taking us back to the days of the Barnstormer. After World War I, a pilot who survived the air war often bought a huge jet trainer and wanted to keep flying. He'd fly over a town, do aerial stunts like you see John Moore doing that. is taking you back to those days and he inscribed one half of a Cuban 8, then five eighths of a loop and a half a roll. In 1936, the Miami Air races the Lake Lynn Hobie was too low at the top of the loop to complete it safely, so he did just what John Moore is doing, and he was also training the Cuban Air Force pilots to fly. And at the end of the minute, at the end of his show, they asked what's that move was. Ocho Cubano, Cuban 8, and the name stuck. Well, watch here. At only 400 feet of altitude, John Moore, in the stock steerman, does a beautiful roundhouse loop. Get the end. Coordinated the throttle, elevator, ailerons, and rudder to start and stop at the same altitude and airspeed. Watch him as he flirts with the runway all the way through his routine, right down on the deck. That is called the side hunch of bump. A quarter roll to the right sets him up and sees him for two center. He's got some energy. Watch him go into a full point hesitation roll. Now this airplane, as I've said several times, is a stock steerman. It has not been modified in any way for air service, which means it doesn't have an inverted fuel or oil system on it, which means if he gets upside down too long, the engine will quit. And you'll hear that a couple of times throughout the show. Now, you've seen a couple of rolls. You've seen a couple of Cuban eights. You've seen a loop. You've seen a four-point hesitation roll. Let's watch him as he goes into an eight-point hesitation roll. Stop in the airplane at 25 degrees. He'll hold it there upside down. This is looking over to cough a bit. There's the flaming restart. <laughs> several times throughout the show. The folks in our industry who watch him fly are amazed at how he handles a 3,000 pound airplane with only 220 horsepower. It is grossly underpowered compared to the other airplanes we're seeing. Up he goes. Watch for the turn. Nope. He's going for the square loop this time. 
squarely, squared off that. He's got a full 90 degree region heading straight toward the ground. He's only three or four hundred feet above the ground. Let's see if he can do it. There's five three. He's diving. He's close. He pulls hard. And there he levels it off. Let's hear it for John Moore and that incredible square loop. He keeps it down close to the ground, working the energy. Right in there close. When he has his feet, he'll get to the right.
This is Harry's pass. And the indication of the Marine Blue. Corps Harrier, this is the Harry pass as he flies the fuse off lower and lower. Dragging that okay. tail just about three feet above the ground about the wing tip, just about the same distance above the ground, down in that area right in between the taxi way and the runway where there's a little dip. There you go. Is he going to touch down or just continue to fly along? Let's take a look. Tough for me to see him. 